109, 190s. Is the oh. K4 in IL-2? I don't know if the K4 is. I think the G6 is, though. Yeah, but the G6 isn't in DCS. No, but I mean, for wide brush strokes, nobody's going to know the difference. Mm. I mean, you know what I mean? I'll f I can fly either one, and they are basically the same. You know what I mean? We fly like a G6. Like I mean, a G6. G6 is in uh, uh, IL-2, the... the like a uh, seven millimeter cannon would be completely fucking useless in a dogfight. I wish DCS would well, go uh, IL-2 style and kind of FC-3 some of their warbirds. i tell you who started a lot of the World War II stuff was Sparky. He was pretty good at making the missions. I'm not good at making the missions. Yeah, Flair. Yeah, <laughs> Flair. He made one for me and, uh, who was it? Okay. Uh, Y'all ready to get going? Holy I'm like, yes, shit. let's go. Windshield, windshield. Kill him! Kill Alright, boys. Operation oh, Grim yeah. Bishop. Presented All by right, the Warriors tonight. The war can start. I'm here. Let's go. Alright, we're good to go. Let's roll. So, after the Separatists' defeat last week in their attempted assault on Sochi and our forces... Our leadership has determined it is the perfect time to counter-strike while the enemy defenses and morale are low. They're attempting to muster what is left of their forces at a remote airfield deep in the Caucasus Mountains, and we've picked up some bomber activity up to the northwest around Napa, so our naval assets are on high alert and ready to scramble fleet defense aircraft at any time. Primary objectives for tonight are going to be to strike while the enemy is vulnerable, uh, provide cap and seed support to achieve this, and defend the fleet and strike package at all costs. Kicking off about 5 p.m. local time, it'll be sunny to start, getting dark as the night goes on. Cold, relatively clear skies, a little bit of wind, should be a decent night for flying. Uh, nothing too new on this page. It should be what we've been used to seeing for the last few weeks. Uh, mostly Russian assets, um, MiGs, their uh, homebrew SAMs, armor, light armor, some AAA. Um, nothing, no wild cards, nothing we haven't seen before at this point. Uh, possibility of some Sukhois and some big boy SAMs off in the distance, but should be a non-factor. Like I said, we got a little bit of uh, big boy Sam coverage down here to the uh, the southwest, or excuse me, southeast. So try not to stray too far east if you are uh, in the strike group here. Uh, everywhere else should be pretty clear, so uh, you cat boys shouldn't have to worry about a whole lot of Sam threats below you. Sting flight is going to be our bar cap for the night. We have Sting 1 patrolling the northeast zone here, Sting 3 in the center, Sting 2 in the northwest, and also assisting with Uzi in their mission as necessary. Sting flights, you should try to maintain two flights on station at all times, uh, just so our cap is well covered and the airspace is secure, so plan your refuel and coverage accordingly, um, and check in with Uzi and Likewise, Uzi will do the same with you guys. Just make sure every uh, every avenue is covered. Make sure nothing gets through to the strike or to the carrier strike group, um, and protect the strikers working on their mission here over at uh, Min because I can't pronounce that Russian airfield name. Waypoints, uh, you're in route, and then waypoint two should be here, relatively close to your tankers at your IP. At which point you'll split off into your individual. Uh, cap zones and patrol the skies and keep everybody safe. Springfield and Hog tonight are going to be working together to hunt down a couple of convoys heading out from Nalchik. We expect these convoys to be extremely well defended. So use caution, keep each other safe. Um, convoy is following a main road through a few urban areas. Do your best not to engage the convoy around any residential or commercial structures. We don't want to piss off the locals and give the uh, separatists any more things to rally around and, and point to us being the bad guys. So um, do your best to engage only when there are no civilian or other targets, uh, or excuse me, assets in the area, and only focus on the Red 4 convoy. 
Viper and Colt. Viper, you guys are going to be, um, or excuse me, the whole package is going to be going up to Mineralnia Vodi. Pardon my butchering. Um, Viper is going to be caps, or excuse me, seed support for Colt on their strikes. We do know there is an SA-11 slash SA-17 site there. Uh, we only have satellite pictures, so we're unknown of what missiles are on board, but we do know it is a SAM of that type. Expect multiple track radars, um, multiple launchers, and keep in mind that SA-11, SA-17 launchers can engage aircraft even after the track radars have been destroyed. They are capable of engaging at shorter ranges, but they are still a threat uh, even after the track radar is dead. So keep that in mind, plan accordingly. We have intel suggesting there are other AAA and mobile shore ads uh, surrounding the airfield. It is relatively well defended, but uh, most of the shorter range stuff, Viper, you guys shouldn't have a whole lot of trouble with. Um, if able and if, Mic off. and or if Sting is having issues, Viper, you are free to transition to cap after your strikes and you've cleared um, Colt in. But check in with Sting and see what they need. Um, Obviously, keep an eye on your weapons and Mike fuel on. and uh, transition as necessary. Your waypoints, uh, your final waypoint, target waypoint, should be here in the center of the airfield. Uh, we know the SA-11 site is to the north of the runway, but we're unsure exactly where, so you will have to get eyes on uh, with either your pod or your HTS pod. <clears throat> Colt, uh, same overview here. You guys... Colt 1 flight is going to be striking a pair of ammo dumps in a command center, and likewise for Colt 2 here on the uh, southeastern side of the runway here. Make sure Viper has cleared you in before you push in too close. Like we said, there are a handful of SAM threats down there, so let the seed boys do their job before you move in. Um, after your primary three targets are destroyed by flight, please engage any and everything around the airfield that is used for enemy infrastructure, storage, any vehicles, any other assets you may see. You are clear to engage them once your primary strike targets are done. Um, rain hell until you're out of fuel or out of bombs or both. Waypoints, uh, your 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3 target waypoints should be loaded on the jet in your data card already. Um, they are specific per flight and should be directly on the target. <laughs> Um, like I said, after you guys are Winchester, these are some areas where we know enemy infrastructure and assets are being stored. Please refrain from striking any civilian or other targets around the airfield and focus only on enemy assets and infrastructure. Uh, and likewise, there's a couple of bridges down here um, that serve as one of the main hubs or main uh, roadways in and out of the airfield. So destroying those would be a major pain in the ass to the enemy. Feel free to uh, ruin their day and deprive them of nice things. Uzi, you guys are going to be departing from the carrier, uh, refueling, and heading straight up to investigate some enemy bombers and escorts we've been seeing. Uh, we're expecting them to be doing training maneuvers, uh, but are unsure of their intentions, and they've been getting a little bold pushing towards the carrier group. So go say hey and introduce them to a phoenix if you need to. Uh, Sting 3, sorry, Sting 2 flight will be available to assist as needed. They'll be patrolling the uh, northeast cap zone here. Um, so get on the horn with them if you need any help. Likewise, they'll do the same for you guys. Navy boys, your tankers are down here uh, right along your IP waypoints, your waypoint 2. Likewise, strike group, all of your tankers should be right around your IP Um Common frequencies and tack ends, everything standard. Uh, shouldn't be any surprises there. Standard comms, our cap and fleet defense is going to be on SMC-1. The airfield strike package, Colt and Viper, on SMC-2. And the convoy search and destroy, Springfield and Hog, SMC-3. Uh, feel free to use AMC-1 as an open channel if you need to reach any other flight lead i expect at least one member of every flight will be on there so we can use that as a common um, standard comm sheets for everything else standard tack ends uh, should be roughly the same as what we're used to at this point man we flew through that any questions or concerns slide, please absolutely 
Are your colors inverted? They might be. Yeah, a lot of the stuff's miscolored. I've been wondering that. I'm reading the slides. The text is black for me. Uh, one question. Uh, was there a um, an airfield uh, chart anywhere I didn't see for our de- any departure plans on any of that? Restrictions, yada, yada, yada. I didn't see uh, no, I did not. It should be Godana ATC, I believe, is 130 decimal zero. Um, yep, here it is down here at the bottom. We will take off and recover from 3-3. Three, three. Um, should be pretty standard, same as we did last week for the uh, Air Force guys. <clears throat> thank you, is, sir. Uh, is Talon here for this week? Uh, I believe Talon said he is going to be away the next few weeks. I do not believe, unless he's going to make a liar of me right now, but I do not see him. No. <laughs> Question from Uzi. Yep. So are the bandits, I mean, not bandits, um, the bombers, are they not hostile? We're not supposed to shoot them until they shoot at us kind of deal? Uh, if they are hot towards the carrier group, they are considered hostile targets. Okay. And was there a tanker slide? Sorry, I missed the first half. Is it all the same? Stuff? Well, I imagine it's the same stuff, but I just want to see location. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, sir. Sorry, I'm having a rough time flipping through slides apparently here. <laughs> Sorry, I flew through that. No, you're you're, you're it's it's my fault. I was um like here and there and everywhere right now. Back to the northwest there for the cap. Uh do we expect the only active airfield to be Anapa? Uh we do know that Anapa, Krimsk, and Galenzik mm-hmm. are all hostile airfields as well as some smaller ones around here. Uh unknown where enemy aircraft could be located or coming from, um, but we do know they will be coming from that direction up off to the uh, northwest there. Thank you. Anything else, guys, before we get the server up and going? This should be a... uh, Shouldn't be too terribly intense, but it should be a good time. Yeah, um, your colors are inverted for the stream for some reason. So the, the last slide uh, says we're going to be on Micah's server. Um, the server's actually up right now. It's paused. We'll unpause it in like five minutes or so. So uh, You said Micah's? Yep. So we'll the be main on, server. Uh, main yep. server. The colors aren't uh, inverted for, for me, Spectre. Yeah, they look uh, normal to me. I can't see it either. Here I can't we go. You should get your eyes checked, man. And, uh, ping, oh, ping's God. blind too. Too much drinking. No, I can see when you highlight them. Vector's colorblind. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a me issue. Um, I noticed what when I was making issue. the briefing. I know. I'm How just dare you? How dare just, you? It was to I can't distract read from the picture of the hog Pittsburgh. with a centerline tank. I'm taking a tank tonight just <laughs> to piss you off. What the hell is that? <laughs> Looks like a nose of a phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for it's putting this guy. We always appreciate it. I'm I'm drinking different rubbing alcohol, so it all looks different to me. <laughs> there we go. You mail that some of that to me. Servers up. Feel free to break. Good luck, Have fun. Good luck. Thank right. you. Big smoke. Good luck. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite. We about to get down. Get down. Springfield flights, so it's just us. Why the hell's uh, Harrier in here, huh? I was gonna say, <laughs> Dude, what, <laughs> what the hell are you doing, dude? <laughs> Man, you in wrong chat. Areas. Man, look at all Aww. these hogs. Yeah, we got two flights of three tonight, and Smoke, who's in the Shadow Realm. Yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm here. Uh, for uh, no, cause I know we kind of talked about Smoke. I know you said you're, uh, you know. What we talked about earlier. Do you want us to? Uh, where you, are you guys taking off from uh, Vodi? Or not Vodi? Uh, from Gadada. Gadada. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We'll just we'll just form on you there. Then. Fuck. Sounds yeah. good. All righty. See you on uh, SMC three. Ten four, buddy. Quick thing. We're not exactly in a hurry, right? Because you know triggers exist. Let's be honest here. <laughs> but uh, the the convoy like starts outside the mountain range. The 
and that cloud cover's at 15,000. This is scattered, but it's at 15,000 base. If we get there quick, right, we can kill as much shit as possible but while the convoy is not in the mountains, right? And then when, you know, it's in the mountains, there's only a couple targets left, maybe just trucks, less dangerous stuff, right? So getting there all at once, you know, together is going to be, you know, including with the Harriers, is going to be a... It's going to make our job a lot easier. Yes, it will. Apart from that, like, there's not really a plan here, y'all. You know, just have fun. Well, don't get shot down. Rule number well, one. Well, I mean, yes, as always. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you guys do for? Uh, do you have a usually use a internal uh, radio? Uh, define internal radio. We have three. Yeah, we'll be we'll be on uh, three ten for the common freak, Micah. Usually okay. Usually on your thinner radio is what we keep that one on. Oh my God! Yeah, you guys got that new fancy radio. I forget. Yeah, we got the the Arc two ten now. We're up here with the big Allegedly, boys. the new A10 has two Arc 210s, but we only get one of them. We're half as cool. <laughs> and then, Micah, I think you're in Flight 2 with Gator. Gator, yeah, are y'all on 35 or 40 FM? We'll be 40 FM. Okay. Copy 40 FM. <laughs> Thanks for letting me tag along. Oh, it's all good. Anytime. We're glad to have you. Mm-hmm. Is it just me, or is one of these skewed? These A10 next to me skewed? Sorry, uh, pause. It'll pause. correct yeah. itself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I figured as much. Yeah, they're all at angle to me as well. Yep. Hmm. Okay, gonna ask another beginner question here. What do you get? Do you guys just. Is it a free for all when it comes to loadout? I mean. Pretty much. Yeah, like, I'm, we're not. I mean, feel free to ask as many beginner questions as possible here. You know, yeah. no limit. But, like, uh, we're not gonna say you must run two Mavericks or, you know, this. Like, it, loadouts are basically, like, bring whatever you want according to the objective, which today is very dangerous Sams and AAA. So, you know. Probably not bombs. There's well, six bombs hogs on station, Micah. Right. You I'm a big fan of those heavy. APK WSs. Yeah. They wreak havoc on a convoy. Do you have to get pretty close for those, right? Those aren't going to be useful. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You can get. You can uh, shoot them off at five miles and laser them in. Still. Until yeah, the fans have a range of six miles, you know. <laughs> That's what you got a Maverick for, the range of eight miles. Or if you know how to force correlate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moving convoy can't force correlate tonight. I'm even bringing IR Mavs. <laughs> oh. Oh, your CC the CCD Mavs don't uh, do moving targets. Not as well. Okay. Not if you force correlate them. They have a different mode you can use to lock static targets, and you get some more range. I got gotcha. you. At least you don't have to bore sight them like the 16s. Nope, no bore sighting. Just flave them to the pod and rifle them off. Completely a random question. I don't even know the answer to it. Like, does your Mavericks have any extra range or no? Nope. Well, I mean, I guess it might depend on, like, weather conditions, but I don't know how simulated that is in DCS. They are airspeed dependent. And altitude, it will factor those in to calculate your range. Mm -hmm. So higher and faster, you'll get farther, right? Yeah. Talk about um, oh, what does Bit say? Forty mile Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten like twelve and a half. I think that was my record. <laughs> twelve and a half Mavericks launched. I'm gonna, you know, see what I can put on here. Yeah, we don't want to talk about the half. See how many fuel tanks I can put on this bad boy. <laughs> the answer is three. <laughs> you weren't supposed to yeah. tell him. And the answer is you don't need a single one tonight unless you're smoke. We just loves them for some reason. Oh, I'll it's do this. I'll put on three fuel tanks, but I'll empty all the fuel in my fuselage. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> 
<laughs> you yeah, still have the tanks on final and just like zero fuel. You still have more external fuel than you do internal at that point. See, you what he's really trying to do is he's actually trying to land the A-10 on the water, and he needs the fuel tanks for buoyancy. He needs to just play for probably away. tried that. <laughs> I'm going on Google. I'll be waiting for the server. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> man, I ideas just come like those are for the future, man. What made you want to join us tonight, Micah? Too many hornets. I just, I've just been dreaming about your guys's HMD and. <laughs> so ever since I went over there for that training night, just letting them know how good the hogs have it. You just wanted to see how not to run a squadron. <laughs> see well, the, the array and chaos. <laughs> honestly, there's there's too many hornets these days, so I gotta, I like to free up a slot every now and then. I will make sure there's a fourth flight for next week for you guys, so there's plenty of room. Oh yeah, no worries. It's a long five minutes. <laughs> hey, uh, Smoke, you want to make a fun op with me? Sure. Right, cool, we'll talk. I tried asking Sparky, but he didn't seem very... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, Everybody... Alright. Battery, inverter... AD. Oh, damn, that... Is not how I want it to be done. Ah, uh, those nozzles. Let's go single nav well, I know I should have tested this beforehand. Yeah, no, it works. It's just it doesn't yeah. work entirely realistically, but it does. It, I, I can get it to work mostly. How? Right, let's go ahead and turn that on. Making this F fifteen feel uncomfortable with all these hogs. Transmit, man, transmit. Oh, man. <laughs> Rearming complete. Yeah, it's gotta be an AI. Did I just break my APO? Dottis one three zero. I think I broke my APU. Three ten. What about three SMC one one three? Hey, uh, does rearming mess up the uh, ground alignment in this jet? Nope. No. Sweet. Does it do that for corn? No, but it does in the 16. No, I, does it still do it in the 15? I know it did on the 8. I'm not sure about that one. I think they think that. that. Oh, I'll have to oh, test it. Oh, no, Doing wrong. Inverter, battery inverter. It's on. Uh, it's on standby. Wait, what are, what are the symptoms? Going on? Um, APU generator doesn't do anything to turn my plane on. Let's try that. Let's just try turning it off and back on again. Okay, battery. Battery to power. Inverter standby. APU gen to power. And if the APU now I turn the APU on. Turn the APU on. APU gen is blinking. Okay, so I just had APU gen. I flipped the wrong dealies, I think. 
Make a check, 130. Six Mavericks. I'm trying to read. I'm bringing, <laughs> I'm bringing six. I'm bringing six. Y'all won't. Y'all won't need six. You don't think so? We do have, we do have like six hogs. Like yeah, bring it. Yeah, number. that's. Yeah, I'll bring. Uh, that's probably a good point. Yeah, four Mavs, but twenty-eight rockets. Oh, there should be yeah. fine between all of us. I mean, I'm also bringing two GBUs. I might bring a high drag loadout with a rocket. <laughs> right. Okay. So the APU is... I, oh, never mind. I, I remembered we're trying to not cause uh, civilian casualties. Rip the CBU. Yeah, yeah, I just didn't... That was my way of getting able to not drop cluster bombs on it and go home. Someone was about to take them before I said that there. For... <laughs> I think I blew up my APU. Reslot? It, it's APU. just... Yeah, I think I need to do the Alan's like roll. Uh-oh. No more A10 slots. Oh, there is. Oh, there's more than that. There we go. All right, let's try this. Battery. Converter to standby. APU generator. Turn on Do the one APU. Oh, Two one three one. Get check. Two one copy. Radio check one three zero. Do you guys typically do the uh, alternate alignment? Yeah, I got you on one three zero. Uh, I mean, uh, you can, sure. but I try, but I it's... just, yeah, I'm not worried about it. We got enough time. Okay. <clears throat> you spent so long configuring your loadout with the A10, right? Because you're bringing so many different weapons that it it compensates for the time that you're waiting for the. Or you have a mic check. Yeah, I just had the Hornets. It's a mad dad. It just scrambled to get off the deck. <laughs> we do yeah, everything it's... a little slower around here. <laughs> I, I, I can get used to that. Not as drastic as the other jets, I think, as well for fast versus slow. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty similar. It's uh, you know, it's like a thirty percent increase. Yeah, seventy percent fuel should be I. Right. Let's do it. Alright, this is starting my plane call, John. Alright, so I'm gonna be... What do we got here? We gotta wait for this thing to do its deal. You're sliding this 1-2 for Nightport. I mean, that works out. Traffic, Viper 1, Flight 3 at 16, Taxi 2, holding short, only 3-3 three, three for departure to the northeast. I feel like I'm going to envy uh, having the, uh, the data link work with the HMCS this flight. Oh, you're going to love it. Flying. You're gonna see freaking Warrior, so many speeds on the, the ground. You're gonna be like, which one's mine? <laughs> well, that's that's not even it. I'm talking mostly with flights, right? Because ever since 2.9, uh, the entire uh, blue circle, green circle thing has been iffy to say the least, right? Sometimes oh, yeah. it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It's it's been a mess. So, like trying to find specifically your wingman's speed is gonna be uh, troublesome it's with six hung. Okay, yeah. in group one, we're on three zero, right? Uh, yeah, thirty FM for group one. It's in the uh, little knee board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just making sure. And then uh, we're gonna be on. We want to set one four zero three. Yeah, on AM. Yeah, man. Uh, just yeah. Check uh, just check the knee board. I have it highlighted on there what we're gonna be doing for the SMC three. So it's one forty dot three. And then it all has your airfield information you need at the bottom as well. And a tanker oh, okay. freak. Well, one. Why don't I just do it this way? Ow. Two, one, radio check. Got copy radio. Pull up one, Let's flight see. three, FCD, attack your runway, three, three, departure. 30 check. Copy, good check. 
Swing. Two on green jet. Two two green jet. I'll be green in a second. I got to figure out my SRS keybind for this jet. Oh, you're all good. <laughs> there is a very specific option you need to have on for the hog, and it's allow all uh, SRS keybinds always. All right, so Otherwise, they will not Anchor point. You said allow all. Um, right allow all <laughs> SRS keybinds always. It's in the settings, of, like okay. almost all the way down. Otherwise, it won't work on the hog. I'm, uh, I'm picking 1512 for laser code. Uh, Portal, if you look on the kneeboard, it'll well, tell you that your laser code needs to be as well. Why would I want to look at that in front of me? Because I slaved over that kneeboard for you, son. <laughs> Two, three, oh my god, three, what yeah. the f- You did select the correct one, though, it is. Let's go with it. Copy, you two through a green jet. Two flights See, green. I did read it. Technically. Uh, I'm gonna deafen up y'all. I'll be in uh, SRS if you need me. 310. Yeah. Here we go. Same here, I'm deafening up. Alright, we're gonna have some fun tonight, boys. Turn on pedo heat when we get rolling. So the Viper's already doing some janky shit for anyone else. None that I've seen, so oh, ye, never mind. Yep, they are. Hopefully, the decent is not too bad. Uh, you came in very stuttery on that one. Well, shit. I hope it's a my side issue. You sounded better that time. Data traffic, Viper 2, flight of 2F16, taxi to the One flight is going to be green, yeah, and uh, one to two mics. We got a conga line of jets heading out in front of us anyway, sir. Take your time. Hey Mike, if you got any questions, feel free to ask us. We'll help you out the best we can. You got a traffic. Yeah, we're not changing laser codes. You guys have a standard or some parts of the northeast. So to change laser codes, you need to turn on your TGP, and then once you have your TGP on, select air to ground, and then control on the top left buttons, and then you'll type in your laser code on the left side of the MFD. laser code I should go for or just something random? Uh, I have your laser code set to 1523. Copy. 1523. Okay, I tried loading 152 into my APKWS, but now I've got their red P's on the DSMS. Um, you might have to reload your stuff and then I'll walk you through it again. Copy. To reload your, uh, your dismiss page, so just on any of the bottom ones on the left or right MFD, select it and then select and hold it again. And then you should see load on the right side. Click on load, put it on one of the bottom MFDs, and then hit that button. Hit that button, then hit load all. Mmm, what was that? Copy that. Hold one. Uh, one flight is. That's the flight. Two flight. You guys are 
Say again. Okay, that's complete. Loading all is complete. Copy. Once you got that done, stand by. Hawk 2-1, Hawk 1-1, uh, you guys, are you guys green jet? Hawk 2 flight is already. 2 flights green jet, I'm talking 2-3 through uh, doing his laser codes for his APKWS. Copy, one flight's going to taxi out first once these guys uh, get past us. A firm. Alright, so once you're on your dismiss page, uh, select inventory on the top right. Once you have that, select your rocket pod, or whichever station your rocket pod's on. Then hit inventory stat on the top uh, MFD button. And then you'll type in your laser code. Hit on laser code on the left side of the MFD. And then hit load on the right side of the MFD. Copy, that worked. Good to go. Alright, Copy, don't forget about uh, wheel chocks. Good call. Right, who's next to me? My god. We will roll out once uh, one flight rolls out. All right, since we're waiting, let me ask another one here. Is there anything um, I have to do special in terms of data link for this mission? Um, have you set your TAD net a net ID up yet? Nah, can you walk me through that one? Sure can, so select TAD on your left MFD, and on the right side of the MFD, all the way at the bottom, you'll see NET. Click on NET, and then you'll see on the right side of the MFD, OWN ID and GROUP ID. Change GROUP ID to 02, OWN ID to 03. Copy, done. All right. Oh yeah, man, I love it. It's a good time. Gators to confirm. I'm 2-2 two -two on group and own ID. Hold on, clear 3-3, three -three. get out of left. A firm. Uh oh, somebody fouled the ramp. Who was that? Who was that? Fifteen's messing about. Yeah, they sure did. Yeah, saw that. All aircraft, uh, good data. Be advised, possible minefield on the runway. Eagles are blowing up out of nowhere. I don't know what the fuck's happening. <laughs> uh, that's not the same problem. Let's wait for taxiing out until uh, the last wiper takes off, and then we'll very carefully take off here. Like one flight is going to go two. line up. Once Taxi one flight starts we'll moving, and it's like on the runway, then two flights starts moving. Just in case. Copy. Here's another question for you. How do you get your anti-collision switch to stay on? Uh, so you have to do okay, pinky to switch one, down on your hotel spines. It's, uh, if you're looking for it in the, the settings, it's going to be on the throttle quadrant. It's actually, if you look on the left side of your throttle, that's where it's at. 
Same as the Hornet. Copy that. Keep out of traffic, flight for two. Airborne departing to the east. We're only clear. I think it's aft. Careful with the re in the airfield, y'all. There's some rat at the uh, runway base. Threshold. Should we divert to the other end of the runway? You can taxi past it, you just have to be careful. Shouldn't affect us on takeoff, it's just for taxi. Cop. Yeah, traffic, Hawk 15310 is taking away 33. Maybe it won't be so laggy once we get up in the air. Connecticut traffic, Hog 3, flight of 1810, taxi on short. It's all air, bro. Just to really minimize the risks of a crash on, uh, on takeoff. I just got out of the VTOL. I understood. Three will do the same. Uh, repeat that traffic one. Uh, uh, one's just gonna take off like one A10 on the runway at a time, maintaining like big, big spacing between uh, flight members. A firm, two flight do the same. Yeah, let's keep our distance till we get up in the air. We'll monitor it then. Traffic, Hog 21, flight of 3A10s, taxiing to runway 33. Alright, boys, I'm gonna roll on out and then keep y'all's distance. Get her. 
Say again. Are you at hold short right now? Just trying to make sure it's accurate. A firm. Conductor traffic, Hog 3, flight of 1A10, wheels up clear, 3 3, turning northeast, climbing through Angels, 1 5. Good auto traffic, Hog 2 1, flight of 3 8 10s, taking active runway 3 3. 2 braking and hold short. All right, I'm going to take the runway and let's just take off one at a time. All right, those are staring off. Keep center line. Good. Doing a left hand orbit of the airfield so y'all catch up. Hog was going to climb up the round agents 14 and hold uh, just short of the ingress point for uh, other hog flights. Two copy. 2 2 airborne. 2 3 roll. I'm at Angels 2, doing about 220 in the box. Copy 2 has visual, I've got your hook shift. Coming to rejoin. Auto traffic, hog 2 1, flyer 3 8 10, clear active runway, last call. 3 is coming left, visual of 1 and 2 in trail. Watch out of traffic, Colt 2 2, rolling. That's a big desync, I've got you standing still, Gator. That's no good. One forty three AM. Yeah, we might just need to stay in trail formation so that way we don't collide. Running up the throttle, going to build. Hog 2 1, flight Doing a five degree climb to Angels 14. Two. Three. On heading 065. Michael, let us know if we need to slow down for you. Copy that. Currently rolling 258. 
Uh, five degree climb. Copy, I'm doing 227 and a five degree climb. Two flights airborne and route to IP. We're actually correction and route to the in route point. Formation, if you're feeling ballsy, we can do a uh, loose echelon, right? Copy moving. Cautious echelon, right? Three copies. I still got y'all behind me. Pushing up on the throttle. Coming level, Angels 14. We're doing a loose echelon right formation for us. I'm within like five miles of people and I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah, one's holding like five miles facing in a triangle right now. Alright, so whoever can tank from a thousand pounds to Transfer complete gets a promotion, right? Anchor's like three miles to my north, I'm considering it. 
I said we need to have a little competition. Whoever can tank from a thousand pounds to transfer complete gets a promotion. I don't know that I can tank in this music. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing underneath the tankers right now. Good luck with that. How y'all doing on speed? Two and five, this is point of flight. How far away are you guys from point two? Two flight is 58 miles. Copy, one one is uh, 33 miles. Y'all doing good on speed? Hey, fair, I'm just trying to uh, not run into the back of you. Give you some space, about two miles on your four o'clock. Copy, I'm doing about 282 in the box. Copy, three's doing about 268. Two's at 270. I'll drop it down to 260 for y'all. Uh, 3-1, rolling through 40 miles to waypoint 2, hanging out up here at Angels 22. Coming slightly right for waypoint two. Warning, autopilot. Two. Three. Uh, level it off. Final heading zero seven five. Two flight is 41 miles from IP at Angels 14. Copy two flight, uh, one flight lead is 50 miles away from IP. Uh, recommend getting an altitude block between our two flights just to further, you know, decrease the chance of desync collisions. Do you want us to climb up or do you, or do you guys want to climb up? We'll climb up to Angels 17. Copy, 
All right, boys, our angel's block is going to be 17,000 feet. Let's climb, five degree climb. Warning, autopilot. Copy, angel 17. Springfield, the top one. Copy. Go for Springfield. Uh, Hawk 1 flight's going to hold sort of around the IP as close as we, as, uh, as close as we can with uh, D6 since we want to wait for all Hawk flights to uh, maximize how, how much of that convoy we can destroy before any of the talent. Just letting you know. Copy. I'm going to go ahead and try to push up through. Um, I'm carrying uh, MAD and sidearm, so I'm just going to try to get the uh, air to air threat out of it further. Sam for up. Copy. Just letting you know that you know, most of the, of the hogs will keep pushing sort of at the same time. Copy. One is leveling off Angel 17. Two copies. Rolling an Angels 14, of course. Two copies. We are 28 miles out. Putting rudder, then I was like, hmm, let me turn off autopilot. Mm -mm. Careful from mountaintops, boys. Should be good at Angel 17, but the clouds make it sketchy.
Two one is one. One. Gotcha, yeah, my cop lingo got me on that one. But hey, we're uh, seven miles out. Sorry, you got stepped on under frequency. You said you're at 10 miles out? A firm, seven. Copy, one flight's heading for him. Copy, two flights are gonna head for the convoy as well. We're gonna take Angel's block 15 to 17. Alright gents, we're going to take uh, Angel's block 15 to 17. Y'all choose what altitude y'all want. Copy 2Z, Angel's 16. Uh, 3 will keep the 17. Hey firm. Alright, let's go ahead and fence in. Fenston 8.9. Three Fenston 8.1.7. Spring Village, Pog 1 1. Two flight Fenston. Don't forget to warm up those Mavs. Say again. Springfield one going down. Oh, oh no. One, did you say there's two convoys? Uh, yes, two one. Uh, Springfield reported seeing two convoys and it's shot down. Copy, I got eyes on your your speed. Uh, y'all see his speed for the convoy? Copy, yeah, the diamond. 
Yeah, it should be like a little wedding cake. We'll see this be at the convoy point. Parker, don't see anything else. Stand by, I'll broadcast my speed for y'all. Alright, should be hut. I'm only seeing the one convoy. Did you advise on the uh, other one? I'm still searching. Must be further up. Okay, come on. Two ones got eyes on convoy number one on my speed in this town. Copy two one. One one's also got eyes. Uh, no eyes on the second convoy. Second convoy is in the open, approximately two miles back. Yeah, y'all copy on three ten. Turns out I eyes the second convoy, but not the first. Copy. Copy on how about, uh, two one, on the convoy. One, one. How about we have uh, Hawk 2 engage the first convoy and Hawk 1 engages the second convoy? Uh, sounds good for two flight. Alright, boys, as soon as they get out of the, the uh, town, let's go weapon tot maps, uh, prioritize the AA threats. Copy, so we're gonna let them pass through this town coming up. A firm, yeah, they're in a town right now. Once they clear out, let's light them up. Oh, you're looking at a convoy in the town. A firm, y'all, uh, y'all see my speed? Two head lies, copy. Looks like they're about halfway through the town now. Oh, copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at that convoy out in the open. I have visual now. Copy. Mm. Smoke in the air, smoke in the air. Second missile. It's gonna come up just be for two flight. flight. One defeated. Where is it? There Here's it is. Here. What are you guys targeting? Uh, my speed's on a SA-8. I'm gonna speed at uh, Shilka, uh, fourth in line. All flights tally two times SA-8 in the lead. Repeat two times SA-8 in the lead convoy. One more copies. Two one rifle SA-8. Go on defensive. Oh, I hope it hits. I hope it hits. Police, can you advise is the SA-8 the lead in the convoy? Uh, I think the SA-8's a uh, trail convoy. Lead of convoy has some kind of search radar. Copy, that might be another one. Two 
three rifle shell cut. No joy on Maverick. If y'all have a better line of sight on those um, SAH, take them out. No joy on my uh, rifle when I come off the rail. Smoke in the air, smoke in the air. Someone rifle? Dang! All call signs, radio check. Three's online. Two, you there? One flight, this is two, looks like two-two got shot down. Oh, I got one copy. Copy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Two, three rifle, SAA. Uh, did you shoot out the front or back one? Front guy. Copy, uh, be cautious, uh, back guy's still up, I'm coming in on him now. Also saw eyes on a, uh, SA-13, I believe that's a Strella. Top one, one rifle on a Shilka, uh, trailing on. Two on rifle SA eight. Was that on the rear? I'm on one Copy. shack, Shilka, trailing convoy. One, two, uh, rifle. Rifle. Uh, one, three. Smoke in the air. Go defensive. Go defensive. Shaft flare, shaft flare. Second one in the air. Possibly another in the air. Uh, break to heading 150 and try and get behind that ridge. I'm out of Mavs. Uh, how are you looking? Hug with three rifle. They're uh, they're herring bones. We're gonna try to get the SA8 front. Uh, two ones out of Mavericks. Uh, we need help with this SA8. You said the SA8 is still up. Two one. A firm. I think both are still up. Three one in from the southwest on lead SA8. Uh, copy. 
Well, I'll, I'll ask my flight real quick, then we'll see who, uh, who we got switched over to, to where your lead convoy and all that stuff. You still good? Yep, I'm up. Copy, I see sm uh, smoke in the air. Who got shot down? Alright, well, uh, quick update, uh, 2 1. 1 1 is now solo. <laughs> I'm switching the SAAs on the late convoy. Is it currently in a town? Uh, negative. The SA 8 is out in the open right now. Copy my broadcast be for me. Uh, it should be up. Copy. Well, maybe I should have taken four maps. Get that laser on. Got one got eyes on. One got eyes on SA at the back of the convoy. Going for that. Two three uh, times one rifle on uh, lead SA. Copy. Three one rifle. That was on. That was on trailing at the back of the Copy. Two is watching lead as a to confirm shot. Smoke in the air, smoke in the air. Three one pistol times two, lead SAA. I think the SAA took out the Maverick. Good shot, good shot. Copy, watch out, there's a Strela towards the end of the uh, convoy as well. Copy, if I can't find the SA, I'll go for that. Uh, 2 1, your, con your speed is still broadcasting on convoy, correct? Hey, firm. Sally, SA8 at the rear, must be. Copy, I got him looking at me right now. Jammer's active. And notched. Hawk 2 3, Maverick. Hawk 1, right.
Oh, there we go. Now I'm fenced in. Oops. Negative, no shack. You know which way I was going to ask? Okay. 3 1 in from the northwest, rockets on trailing SAA. 2 1's going to be right behind uh, 3 1 for a run, same type, because the uh, Mavericks don't seem to be working here. Pistol tops 2. Herb. 2 3 rifle. Actually, if uh, if Smoke's run doesn't end up working, uh, two one, are you set up on like an obs observation position, or how are you doing? Yeah, I'm in a good observation position to watch everything. I mean, if you do some vitally, I think with these with these uh, rockets. Sure can. I'll set them to your code fifty twenty one, right? Hey, fair move, but. Good shack on SAA rear. Copy. Is convoy clear of SA8? So we still got some up. Uh, looks good so far. I see one Shuka on the back. I'm scanning for that Strela I saw earlier. Copy. Uh, one more going to be standby for uh, if he can us run on that Strela. Yeah, there's heavy uh, tree foliage right now, I can't see. Copy. 2 3, Red Bull, BTR. Uh, Hog 1 1 to all hogs. Uh, anyone got eyes on, uh, on uh, if that convoy is close to any inside of town? Or we saw it for a while until we can uh, have to hold engagement. Uh, this convoy is still not close to a town. We should be good on the first one. Second one's probably still in that town. Yeah, with the timing, I'm pretty sure the second one just entered. Uh, second convoy had maybe one Shilka left up. Apart from that, it seemed like just tanks and BTRs. Nothing uh, big like an SA. 3-1 is eyes on the second convoy. It looks like one time Shulka and the rest armor and light armor. My eyes are... Well, sounds like my eyes were correct. That's a Shulka. Uh, it looks like Strela got splashed uh, within the first engagement. I do not see one in the first set of convoy. Copy. Uh, one one's still uh, lining up for a uh, indicated US run on that convoy someday when I see it with the TGP. What is that? Disregard my last, I got eyes on the Strela. Uh, copy 2 1. Do you think you can wait, uh, buddy, late that for me? I sure can. Let me know when you're uh, uh, rifling off. Copy. Setting rockets to 5021. It's like right under me. <laughs> Trying to go slow. 1-1 is in 0-2-0 with ABK WS on convoy, laser code 1521. About a minute or so till pistol, pretty far out. Hey, firm, I'm sparkling. Strela's looking at someone. Smoke in the air, smoke in the air.
smoke in the air. Oh, two threes going down. Damn. Got me some three. Not exactly a low death count mission here. <laughs> Uh, one one's gonna set up for, uh, wait, actually two on diesel vibe on that convoy with your TGP or did you go defensive? I'm still good, I'm going, uh, rocket run on, uh, Strela right now. Uh, copy, one one's gonna get, uh, come back from the lineup. G1, pistol times two. Please hit. Please hit. Shock Strela. New smoke in the tree line marks the uh, convoy. Hey Juan, just let me know when you're ready for another rocket run. I can lace this other shulka for you. Uh, one blink in right now, zero two zero. Pistol in like thirty seconds. Copy. I'm lazing. speed. A3, how's it looking on that second convoy? Two ones running in on the Shulka. Blazing and a rifle. Pistol times one. Fire one rocket. A firm and Shuka. I fire first of two or three. I only got one pot, so I make them count. Fair point. I'm carrying like two racks of uh, 21 here. Got 42 rockets left. Copy. I have approximately five rockets left and four 54s. Everything's starting to get bright. Hopefully 
this works. Blaze and all right. Rifle EPTR. One one's in. Never mind. One one's off. The rocker man. Ah, uh, you're all good. Trees caught my rocket. Hmm. That sucks. Yeah, sir. That full gauge is helping them out. Two has eyes on second convoy. Warning, autopilot. Hmm? One one is in zero two zero. One times GPU twelve for Shilka leading convoy. Copy two is going to target the uh, rear convoy. Copy two. Two targeting rear Shuka convoy number two rockets. Hogwa one, take a one times GPU twelve Lee convoy. Two one pistol Shuka rear convoy. Shilka. Hog one one, Shack, one time Shilka, Lee Convoy. Alright, let's go ahead and set everything up back time. So, stat, MX, and Knight. Ah, way better. And. Looks like it's time to turn on the mood lights. The what light? The mood lighting. Alright, and where is the daytime? Alright. So. Console. Convoy shacked. 
Negative. We can actually keep this one on day. What is that? Two one pickle GBU fifty four lead tank convoy two. Let's see how it looks. Shack T80, second convoy lead. Right, let's get some separation. One one, how you looking on that convoy? One one had lost the lead convoy, just reacquired, going for another one times two U twelve run on lead BTR. Hey, bro. All right, let's get out of the clouds. One one three one has tally of the BTR number one convoy. If you want me to let you in, what's your code? One one's code is. Uh, one one has sight of convoy with TGP. Copy, call your pickle, I'll sparkle. Ten seconds to pickle. Hawk one one, pickle times one, GBU twelve, code is fifteen eleven. One sparkle one five one one. I did not even know sparkle was a code. <laughs> I don't think it's official brevity, but I've half I've heard half heard it used by J Tags before. It sounds cool. It means it's official. Two one pistol lead BTR second convoy. I'll be going in with the uh, with some a couple of AP KWS runs. Two on Shack BTR second convoy. One one three one broadcast for you. Copy. You got eyes on broadcast. Rockets are also in fifteen eleven three one. Understood. One one is in with AP KWS. You guys, 035, let's go 1511. On the convoy. Easy. 
There we go. Might have been going a little fast for that. Don't let me have time to readjust. Blazing and rifle. Two one rifle BTR second convoy. BTR or APC? Uh BTR. Oh shack. Two one shack BTR. Uh let's try that again, three one. Uh one one's turning in better than uh if you can't be less run late convoy. Stand above for this. Coming a little slower here, that way the rockets are trying to adjust. Do you want pickle tank? Crap. I haven't seen any splashes, but I have kept a solid track on the time. Let me confirm laser care. Yeah, laser one five one one. I think I'll try self laser. Uh oh, three one. Uh go with the rockets hurt in the trees here. I'll have a better idea if they hit or not if I'm uh, lasering for myself. Copy switch back to one five three one. Two one, check T eighty. Let's pull hard. Two on pickle T eighty. Oh my gosh. Well that bomb's probably gonna fall in the wrong spot. One on one's in A can yes, fleet combo. Alright, let's see, let's see if I can do it real quick. Down and oh. one one So right and the T the T G P went gimbal roll last. Second, and they pistoled them. Oh my god. Mine did too, dude. So I just wasted a about 500 pound bomb on a BTR. Well, this is definitely teaching me that uh, APKWS is not to be used in force. I mean, I kind of already knew that, but you know, this is. Three one in for Rocket Sleep Convoy. Shack T eighty. 
I am Winchester Ordnance. Only thing got left is guns. One one, and finally a shack with these rockets. Uh, one one still got. 25 or so of uh, APKWS. Plenty of fuel as well. Well, plenty being 2.2 dozen pounds. Copy. 2 1 fuel state, 5.9. Uh, 3, how you looking on weapons? 2 times 54, 1 times Maverick, 3 times APK, plus gun. Bring the whole arsenal with you, Jesus. Uh, how, how are the uh, convoys doing one compared to the other? Is one close to being fully eliminated? Um, not too certain on mine. I know I got uh, BTRs left. Yeah, lead convoy has got about seven or eight BTRs left, I'd say. Yeah, my convoy is sitting out neck of the woods where you can't really see them. Copy. Well, one's gonna keep going for a couple more APKWS runs, and then, uh, then our RTB. Coming up the guts. T one's gonna try and come from the back of the convoy and do gun run straight up to the tip. Hit it from the back. Copy two one. Well one rifle. I mean pistol. Pull up. Two one first uh, round of gun runs complete. It damaged them, but didn't kill them. This is bright. Let's turn you down some more. Gun run from the 
southwest. Which convoy? Uh, lead convoy, sorry. Let me know when you're off the gun run, 3-1. Copy. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Two on Shack, two BTRs. I know it's not pretty, guys. Get this job done. Three one out to the north. All right, time to get picky with the rounds. I believe my convoy may have three vehicles left. I have 380 gun rounds left. Copy. Let me know if you uh, run out, just so we can make sure at least one of these convoys dies. 2-1. One, one, one is in. Uh, zero five five. Got to run out the convoy. Copy, I'm updating it. It's four vehicles and they're all damaged. Copy. Go on gun run on them now from the uh, bearing 222. Do you see how many are left in the lake convoy, 3 1? Uh, I got the pod hooked on a map. I got the trouble. There they are. Pull up, pull up. They should be coming out of those woods soon if we, you know, stop shooting them. But, you know, it's not gonna happen. Shack on BTR. Three left. Might be time for a little night vision. Uh, tally on two times on speed. What is my night vision button? Uh, copy unit position into a gun run, 3 1, or should I go in? Is this it? If you got the shot, take it, but I am That's directly after. Uh, copy 1 1 leg. It's 2 miles out in leg, uh, east, so I'm gonna go in for a gun run. Like proper night copy, vision in the A 10, and I wasn't fully used yep. to the try, try to keep your speed on him, it's what I'm using as a reference. Alright, hang on guys. Steady point tracking is lost. That's my goggles, okay. On the lead vehicle. Shack times two, one one. Good effect. Almost one off. Nope. You see anything 
left down there, 3-1, uh, with your TGP or still requiring. Don't see anything moving from the lead convoy, 2-1, do you have eyes on the second or are we clear there? I have three vehicles left. 1-1 one, one has 400 gun rounds with their name on them. Unless you sold ammo, 2-1. Yeah, I still got some ammo. I'm just trying to get that angles right. Copy. I'll leave you to it. Let's run this. Two on inbound. Three, four, five. Check one time, it's BTR. Y'all are more than welcome to help me out with these boys. Copy 2 1, keep your speed on them, and I'll be uh, coming in for a gun run shortly. Some altitude. Let's just do a gentle. Like between night vision and, night, and like no night vision. This is terrible. All right, one in for a gun run on your speed too. Copy. My speed is active on a BTR. I went falling off. I couldn't see jack shit. Pretty sure I didn't anything. Copy. Two one rolling in. Uh, three zero eight. Anything? Anything on the lead convoy? Three one. Negative lead convoy. Looks clear. Perfect. Uh, perfect. That's uh, job well done. We'll finish up this bad trailing convoy and, let, and then let's head home. I am fuel state one point. Pull up. out next time. No joy. Three one in from the west gun run shooter shooter. Three one out south. One one heading in for a gun run and speed. Copy speed still active on targets. Two targets left. Copy two one. Hey firm, 2-1 just shacked it. That means we're all good? We're all green? I believe so, if you want to do one last look around the area. 1-1 one, one is fuel state 1.1, one I think it's gonna head back. Copy. 2-1 is 4.9. 3-1, fencing out 6-4. 1-1, fencing out 1.1. One, one, one. Thank you, Donuts Flying. Two on fence now, four point nine. 
Where are my buddies at? Interesting. Go ahead, turn all this on. Three one's gonna go direct waypoint zero. See you boys at home. Copy. Copy. Two one's doing the same. One one may see you guys at home. We'll see how it goes. Behind me? Alright, so let's recage. Oh, there's one. Uh oh. Let's see what's going on with the stream.